Many Americans only learned about the role of online bots in influencing elections in 2016, when Russia-linked software reportedly spread disinformation to boost President Trump's campaign. But could the U.S. have seen warning signs ahead of time by looking south of the border? Here's why this matters. In Mexico, automated software has been deployed to influence political opinion for the better part of a decade. And in the 2012 general election, Twitter was swarmed with apparent automated accounts supporting now President Enrique Peña Nieto. With their upcoming election in July, most observers say all parties in Mexico are using automated bots to promote their own messages and to undermine their opponents. What's worse, there have been warning signs of Russia meddling the election through online propaganda similar to what was seen in our most recent presidential election. For its part, Twitter is actively seeking to promote truthful dialogue on its platform in advance of Mexico's election. A spokesperson told our reporter Stephen Melendez that the company is working with an NGO and a university in Mexico to help inform voters of the best way to consume information on the social network. The company has also ramped up efforts to shut down malicious automation on the platform. But more alarming is not the spread of false or malicious information in social media news feeds, but rather in direct person-to-person -person messaging. A political activist in Mexico told Fast Company that in state elections last year, bots and trolls actually turned to tools like WhatsApp and ordinary text messages to target voters. Already, misinformation campaigns have been spotted on popular messaging platforms around the world, including in elections in Kenya and in Indonesia. And should it prove successful in Mexico, Experts say it won't be long before this kind of targeting starts taking place in other major countries.